Hi Pisces, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of December. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. And this reading can work for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces sign. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. Um, you know, this is a way to capture the energies and the messages. Hopefully something here can be helpful to you. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Chariot Major Arcana, and we have the King of Cups. So the Ten of Pentacles, you know, within this illustration we see the scattered pentacles, we see the older figure, the, the children, the dog, and the couple. It's about family money, it's about the legacy and the the building up of your financial consideration for your family so we think about you know we work hard we work to provide for our families we save money we have to think about how we can put clothing on the children and feed the children and and take care of the pets and so there's really a sense here of paying attention to your household and you know is the estate in order are the investments in order is the property being taken care of maintained for some of you this could be a simple message of paying you know close attention to something in the house fixing the leaky faucet um, you know uh, cutting the wood for the for the for the fires for the winter but there's an attention here and there's a focus on the family, um, you know, the family holdings, the, the making sure that we're in a position to be able to take care of the family, working hard, um, being smart with the money. And again, pentacles is about your approach. It's about common sense, um, planning, paying attention again, the, the planning and the paying attention and the being responsible for it is important when we're looking at the pragmatic common sense approach for pentacles. So with this focus here on family resources, we also have the chariot. And the chariot here is driving the two sphinxes the dark and the light and again in, in life it's the dark and light forces that pull us in different directions and it makes the ride a little trickier a little more challenges always on a path and we have a goal or we, we have something that we want to achieve there are always going to be setbacks adversity things happen and it's a matter of using your mastery your confidence, your abilities to keep the balance of this chariot moving forward, to allow the momentum to keep taking you forward. So with the chariot, there's a sense here of confidence. There's a sense of total control. You know, you're behind, you're the driver here. You have the control, you are creating the momentum. You are using all of your skills to be able to find the right middle ground or the balance with the ideas, the opposing forces that try to pull you in different directions. So what can we take away from the chariot? The chariot's about success. Ultimately, by virtue of confidence and skill and control, you will have success. Again, it could be something small. It could be Maybe you've been trying to be healthy for the past couple weeks, exercise, eat healthier. Maybe you're trying to increase your social circle. Uh, you know, maybe you're simply trying to read more and to build personal development. But this tells us that you're going to have success and, you know, perhaps the success will benefit the family um, foundation, the family stability the resources of the family. 
So then we have the, the loving King of Cups gently floating here in the water. And so the King of Cups holding his cup here, he's become an expert and, and someone of experience through intelligent management of emotions, of knowing how to respond, how to navigate emotional turmoil, how to be a loving and considerate and sympathetic person and friend to provide support. So this King of Cups could be telling you that when times, if you're having um, an emotional upheaval or if you're having something that is really revving you up with your emotions, that he may be saying, stay calm, stay calm. It's the right amount of emotions. Don't let them get too extreme. You know, use your loving heart, use your moral compass to, to approach these situations. But he is a loving energy who cares about people around and again is successful because of using emotions in the best possible way. So a very nice set of cards here for the day. Let's um, see what we have in terms of an affirmation for the day. Fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Astero. So always, you know, every day is a great idea to bring about a new project or at least something that you're thinking about that you want to do. It keeps life fresh. It keeps things interesting when you're continually moving forward when you are maybe setting goals or desires that you wouldn't normally try to tackle. So I think it's a lovely message. I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. It's a wonderful way to show support and I'm grateful for all of you that take the time to watch. Thank you. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow for another reading. Take care.